I just want to go over some of the results from uh, testing AR500 uh, hard body armor level 3 and level 3 plus plates that they sent to us for uh, testing and evaluation. Uh, the first plate I'm going to talk about here is a curved shooter's cut level 3 plate hard steel plate um, from AR500. This has the upgraded um, seal coat on the build up on the outside to catch any bu bullet fragmentation. What we did was we shot this plate last week uh, using 5.56 55 grain rounds, very powerful rounds, high velocity. These level 3 plates are only rated for 2,700 feet per second, I believe. And these rounds that we shot it with are actually rated at approximately uh, 3,200 or a little bit less um, feet per second. So it definitely exceeds what um, AR500 is saying that these plates could stop, but we shot it anyway to see what would happen. So uh, I'm going to go over the results with you now. So this is the plate. Um, it's a quarter inch steel and it has the uh, built up on the outside again to catch bullet fragmentation. We shot this plate approximately 25 times. Uh, with these rounds, a little difficult to see the points of impact, so I put these toothpicks in so you could see how small the holes are at, uh, at the entry point and uh, where they're located. There are two uh, longer toothpicks right here in the middle. They're almost on top of each other. Um, these two particular rounds actually penetrated the, uh, the plate, went through the plate. It's almost, almost center, dead center of the plate. Um, I believe it was maybe the third and like the eighth round went through, through, these, um, uh, through the plate and exited almost on top of each other right here. Um, like I said before, the rounds we shot it with, the 5.56, exceed the specifications for this level 3 plate. Uh, so these two did go through, but it did stop every other, every other round. And they were pretty much scattered around to test different parts of the plate. Um, if somebody were to be using this plate and was to be shot where it did exit through the back and they had soft body armor, I think in my opinion, it would have slowed it down enough where the soft body armor would have stopped that uh, that round from uh, actually entering your body. Um, that's just my opinion right now. So uh, we went ahead and tested their next level plate today. Um, that I have a video of and that's gonna be attached to this. So this is the level uh, three, plus, three plus plate. This is rated to stop rounds uh, up to approximately 3,000 feet per second. Um, again, we shot it with the same round, the 5.56, 55 ring. This is almost 3,200 feet per second. And um, it was actually pretty impressive of what this particular plate did for us today. Um, we shot it with 11 rounds of the 5.56 and uh, it stopped every single round. Then we shot it with a 45.70 uh, large round. You'll see it in the video. It's a, it's, a, it's a very powerful round. It did stop it, no problem. None of these rounds even made a dent in our steel. Um, the coat on the outside captured uh, most, if not all, of the bullet fragmentation inside of the plate. And the back has no, no dents and no, uh, no uh, back face deformation. So this plate was pretty impressive of what it did. And we're actually going to use this plate to shoot it some more uh, in the coming days. All right, we'll post those videos as well. I'm testing the level three plus plates. First set of rounds, five, five, six, five grain, 25 yards. See a blue hole with a protective coating. Looks like there's going to be no penetration on this side. No back base deformation. Stop the rounds. Just 
to remove some of the coating. Yeah, just blew the uh, cover. All right, so that's the first four rounds. Okay, we're gonna put another four rounds into it. Just finish it, just finish finish the magazine. Might be one more in there. Side coating is starting to pull away, but it's still uh, continuing. This backside is good. The fragments. Backside, no penetrations and no uh, back face deformation either. Alright, All right, we're now going to try to. Uh, Hit it with four rounds of 4570. These big boy rounds. See what it does to our plate. The first 11 rounds barely even scratched the surface of the uh, steel plate itself. Let's see how we do with these four. Look bad, but no penetration, no dents. A lot of energy broke the, the side uh, yeah. wall here. Could have captured the bullet fragment as well inside here. Yep. Tremendous.